Welcome to the Kistler Training Program on Video, available to all our customers at Kistler.com. This tutorial explains how to correctly install a Type 6052 cylinder pressure sensor for optimum performance and results. We will show you how to check the bore and sensor, how to mount the sensor, and how to connect the cable. Only the correct sensor installation will guarantee that your signals are as precise as they should be. In our instruction setup, we use a cylinder head with a pre-installed sensor mounting sleeve. That's where the sensor will be installed. First, make sure that all equipment is ready at hand. There is the box containing the sensor, cable, and connector a bore scope, a mounting key, a torque wrench, special grease, the cleaner, and pressurized air. Now it's time for step one, the bore and sensor check. The drawing shows the sensor's position in the mounting sleeve. A clean sealing area is most important for a successful installation and flawless function of the sensor. That's where the bore scope comes in. It's absolutely vital to visually check the bore. If the sealing area is corroded or dirty, it must be cleaned using a reamer. Do not accept anything less than a perfectly clean sealing surface. You can now move on to the sensor. To conclude the initial check, you want to make sure that the cable connector is tight. A simple two-finger check will do. The protective cap at the free end of the cable may have to be removed to allow the connector to pass through the mounting key. Keep the electric contact clean. Do not touch it. This is the mounting key. We shall use it later for inserting the sensor into the mounting sleeve in the cylinder head. Again, make sure you don't touch the connector. The sensor cable must be pushed all the way through. Applying some grease on the sensor thread will increase the lifetime of the sealing area and will also ease sensor removal once a measurement task is complete. Now comes the essential part of your installation procedure. You manually insert the sensor package. It may look a bit awkward, and it takes some time. Nevertheless, make sure the connector at the cable's end stays clean and untouched. Please be very careful now. You must use the torque wrench. Adjust to 1.5 newton meters mounting torque. Never install a sensor without using the recommended torque wrench. You complete the sensor mounting by removing the mounting key. Take care while pulling the connector back through the key. Step 3. Connect the coupling to the cable. To maintain and ensure high electrical insulation, you should clean it carefully. Using first the cleaner, then dry air. To be on the safe side and to eliminate condensation, allow some drying time. Your mounting task is